Hey, we are outside Whistles, such a fantastic store on the high street that I always use when I'm wanting some modern pieces, but not to kind of push the client too far. Like she wants to express herself more, but maybe wants to know that these pieces are going to last her a long time. And when I'm immediately looking at the window, what excites me the most is a so much texture and we'll pan down the outfits so that you can see them i also love how well lit it is we're on the store in london st christopher's place so quite near to selfridges just off oxford street and immediately just love all the textures that are there but let's take a look inside immediately i'm really excited by this idea of the so much silver metallic but i've not seen a silver blazer before if you own a lot of grey or a lot of white, it's a, such a quick little way to lift your outfits. And this is for a customer who wants to make that statement, but it's also someone I could imagine, maybe a bit like me, who's got a lot of basics in her wardrobe and wants to make sure that it feels relevant and punchy. A great one if you do a lot of speaking and on stage. I use whistles a lot for their, their cashmere and their knits. This is the grey one that was on the mannequin there. And like these little vests are everywhere and they're so good for the kind of everyday commute. When we want something, it's gonna keep us warm, but we can also take it on and off. And I do think Whistles is great for all of their knits. I think what I'm excited about with Whistles this season is it's, and I know this is the flagship, so they're gonna have the exciting pieces, but there's a, I don't know, it feels a bit more youthful than I've seen in their previous seasons. So even seeing a piece like this, which again, if we were just to pair under a basic crew neck uh, jumper could feel, you know, sensible, but considered not too fancy. But then look, as soon as you whip that off, you are ready for a night out. And I think when you're finding pieces like that, that have that versatility, you suddenly, can bring your current wardrobe to life. So don't be put off by the fact that that is sheer. We can do camis underneath, we can do nice little bits of underwear, but the fact that it's so fine as well allows you to have a lot of fun with it. You can play around with that. You can layer it under your little dresses. So to me, that is exciting to see in store. Some lovely prints, textures. I feel like the, the shop is really encouraging you to be a bit bolder, to invest in a piece that kind of feels like it's gonna take your style in a new direction. And I often think when you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like, where am I gonna take my style? Think about one word, like is it for you, you wanna be more elegant or is it you wanna be a bit bolder or is it that you want to be more refined or more polished? And use that word to anchor your decisions as you're coming into store. And if you own, for instance, a lot of little cardies like that, maybe you need to sex it up a bit. Maybe you need to add in something that has that impact, like a little vinyl skirt. But to me, that feels you know, fresh, but exciting. And that's, I think, sometimes what we need our clothes to do. Our energy is such an important part of getting dressed and sometimes we just need to give that little boost. Okay, let's see what else. We've got some knitted little cords. This is definitely something that is gonna be Marmite for a lot of people. But I think if you're doing a lot of working from home, hybrid dressing, finding little cords like this could be really useful. That on its own, with that little rocky t-shirt or with some heels. It's a bolder move and it's not gonna be for everyone, but interesting and exciting that we can come on the high street and get something that feels almost like the thing you'd find in Harvey Nichols. So that's cool. Again, another amazing tabard, easy layering piece. Exciting, love that. Cute, look at that little corduroy dress. Again, I think when you step into a store, sometimes it's worth taking a moment and just taking in the color. What colors are you drawn to? And even just panning here, you can see there's quite a few different tones of lilacs and sky blues. Again, well done whistles. This is really exciting. Having this kind of ruching detail, the little backless piece. If you work in an industry where you can have a bit more fun, or again, have these hidden secrets underneath your dressing, like, and this is why I love lilac too, because it's a very versatile color, but you could then put a little knit over the top, 
no one would know the excitement that's underneath, but you do, and you're ready to go afterwards. And also, know that you've got something you can wear at the weekend as well. I mean, beautiful. Higher waist here, which is really good if you feel more elegant with that higher waist. Perhaps you're like me and you have a shorter waist, or you just know that that's your, your kind of narrower point. Um, and I love that they put in the smocking at the back so we can kind of be more comfortable at work. That would do so many moments, weddings, christenings. Oh, I think anything with a little platform makes our lives a lot easier. That is a really beautiful, and if, I'm always talking about the importance of finding boots that have that nice neatness through the ankle and that'll just fit under a blazer lovely. Just seeing this little necklace, really sweet little pearl. Really easy, love that. I feel like honestly there's a lot I could. <laughs> um, we just did in our newsletter recently, padded quilted jackets, how good they are. Okay, this is a good one. Like a lot of what I've shown you so far has felt expensive, it has felt cheap. This to me is lovely, but I feel like we could find that in a more affordable store. That is fun. I feel like you could maybe get tired quickly. So I'm always looking at how unique or how enduring a piece feels. The magpies among you, lilac sparkles. I love how they've paired the neutrals and the neutrals together. And that is something, and actually I teach this on my little style course, is the power of putting all neutrals together it can be such a powerful but understated way of doing style. Um, I've had a lot of luck with whistle jumpsuits over the years. This one feels a bit straighter in shape. The ones I've done have been a lot more nipped in, but a lovely weight of denim, not too thick. They always do great leather, and because we're in their flagship, they've got a lot of choice. Lovely little kind of softer version of a, sh a jacket, but you know, a leather shirt. Another cord piece, I mean, that is, again, really nice navy item texture i'm always i'm obsessed with looking for texture because you can just add interest and that's often what you wouldn't get in um like a, a lower high street store or your supermarket shopping is that texture so always be keep an eye out for texture Ooh, great this is again fun little double den moment fantastic if you are again like me short-waisted that you can't do a denim dress Bind the two pieces together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, okay. So, I do go on a lot about little sheer polo necks. Something to layer that doesn't then feel too fuddy-duddy. Silky, sexy, and you could layer it under. I'm just thinking what we've got here. Uh, I mean, even under a shirt, a striped shirt. And you could just have that silkiness. You could roll up the sleeve and have it just coming out the cuff. And that way you've got just a touch of it. You've got the warmth, but it just doesn't feel as flat as if you were just doing a wool. I'm feeling the sexier vibes today in here. Definitely, I feel that. I feel like they're helping you get dressed in a way that is special. It really does feel exciting to me. Trousers, now I have quite a lot of luck with trousers. This is interesting, these are lovely cut. I do have a lot of luck with tailoring. When people ask me where to go for trousers and jeans, I do find whistles great. These are £119, uh, made of 10 cells, so you've got this kind of almost silky feel. So if you've been looking at the cargo style and vibe, but you're feeling like they're too stiff and masculine, this is what you do. You want to go for that more fluid fabric. And I love that we've got a beautiful tailoring. So we've got a kind of a low pleat, so nice and flat across the tummy. And then we've got this cool little kind of shaping across the knee as well. I love the versatility of those. And I think I really enjoy smart casual dressing. That's where I feel most confident myself and what I really love helping clients to do because I think so often we can be really good at smart and really good at casual, but what's that inter, the bit in the middle? And actually trousers like that can really help. And the green as well. You probably see the shaping a bit more in the green. Cute. Okay, so there's a lot more chocolate browns. And look here again, we've got a lovely sheer cola neck with this gorgeous wavy detail. Something like that would be such a simple addition and really 
flattering. And even if you don't feel comfortable around your tummy or you don't feel comfortable sh you know, showing your skin through this, that's not the point. You literally have it for the kind of the neckline and for the cuff. That's that's where you you don't have to wear it on its own. Chocolate brown jean. And maybe one little tip. <laughs> if you like this colour of the jean, have you got any like white or paler jeans at home that have got a mark or stain on them? Could you dye them this colour? Because this is what the stitching would do. So a little idea. Lovely silkiness again, so lots of this chocolate brown. It's interesting, I was at a conference summit yesterday and there was a lot of women and I was kind of taking in what they were wearing and quite a few of them had like beautiful midi floral dresses on and they all look great. But I thought, wow, there's quite a lot of that midi floral dress around and how can I help my clients to do something a bit different? And actually, this little fine polka dot, it's really lovely. It's like a jersey weight, so I mean, great for traveling if you're somebody that travels a lot. But I love it, it's got the little puff sleeve, the ruching detail down the, down the arm, but it, it kind of takes the conversation of the, you know, the printed midi a bit further, makes it a bit more interesting, and also, we could do a lot of the layering here as well. I think it could do a lot of different temperatures. If you want your your style to feel more unique, it is about coming into the flagship because you'll get pieces that you wouldn't see elsewhere. This, to me, feels very fresh and really like they're pushing their identity into a slightly more fashion forward and it is their limited color edition that would make sense um these kind of cargo brown trousers almost that tobacco color in a cute little cohort lovely i mean you could do the sheer tops that we talked about downstairs underneath it to make it more autumnal but yeah really different for whistles that excites me feels a bit unexpected so let's talk a little bit about, I suppose, our basics, our things that are our everyday essentials. If you're somebody that has a nipped in waist and then you're fuller through the hips and you find that you're almost a different size here than you are to here, I have had so much success with their barrel jeans, especially when you've got something like this that's got a bit more of elasticated waist, you're going to get that nip in at the waist and then this rounder shape through the leg also allows you to sit and be more comfortable. I love the fact that they've done this kind of pleat at the bottom, feels almost like a real designer little touch, a bit like the jeans I've got on. So denim in here is always a great place to look. I love an oversized shirt, so easy. It's a nice thickness of stripe as well. So I do think whistles for that kind of upgraded everyday basic is, is a fantastic place to to come really cool look at them stomping boots what i wouldn't buy in here probably is like bretons like that because i feel like we could get that anywhere but what i would buy is again look at this fantastic outerwear like that feels so special and elevated big deep pockets it's a bit of an investment it's 200 pounds but i feel like it's the kind of thing you'd have for years and so cozy and every winter you get it out and you think, oh snuggly so love that oh look at these colors so gorgeous really lovely so that is the kind of breton i would buy here that feels almost like there's a french brown called cezanne it has a vibe of that you know, that's the kind of thing that would be a very versatile piece. So we could layer that over some silky skirts, but again, just with some jeans. I love the kind of oversized shape, really nice. A little fleece gilet, great if you need that third piece. Say you live in something like jeans, and I think this is their barrel jeans, is it? Oh, but this is the holly button. This is more of a straight shape. Say you lived in a Breton and jean and you're just like, how do I make this more interesting? I'm so bored. I feel like a bit mumsy in my clothes. Then looking for these third layer pieces that you can put over the top immediately gives you a cooler edge. So I love anything that you can add to the 
to the classics. This is really their fundamentals. I have had lots of luck with these little jackets. They're, they're maybe not the most exciting, but sometimes when you are in an office and you need a blazer but you want to just be cosy, they are really useful. I mean, this is a beautiful, almost like a cherry brown, lovely suede jacket. This is the ca kind of piece that I feel like if you want to get into vintage shopping, or you love vintage, and you are coming in a store like this and you think, that is so great, but I maybe don't want to buy new, you could be really inspired by something like that to then go and find your version of that. It has that harking back to the 70s. And actually, when I was with a client recently, we did a mix of high-end and vintage, and this was the kind of thing we looked for when we were out shopping. So don't be afraid to be inspired as well to discover those more vintage buys. I love this kind of like 80s <laughs> vibe. It's leather, puffer, cozy. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Cute little leather dresses. You like the chunky boot look, but you find the leather is too chunky. This fabric, this stretch leather, is gonna give you a far more elegant shape. Up the calf, it's not gonna be quite as bulky. Oh, nice little jumper dress. That's a useful one, good if you're traveling again. And we could do lots of fun layering with that. I, I think you could go out for dinner, do polar necks under, nice chiles. It's a lovely jumper dress. That cord that we saw downstairs, but in the blue. I love that little cardi jacket, really cute. A nice upgrade to the basic t-shirt. That ruching through the sleeve. Oh, I love a bomber jacket, like, such a go-to that you have to be a bit careful if you feel when you put them on it, it makes you feel a bit rounder than you want to then look for ones with splits or got a bit more of a straight shape so just be careful with that with bombers if you do feel rounding them don't force it don't force it find the right shape for you this is what i was talking about earlier when i was talking about how much success i've had with denim jumpsuits this is a great example of the kind of thing I've, I've used for clients a lot because I think sometimes when a client puts on a, a denim jumpsuit or a boiler suit it can feel too masculine. So this is a great example of I've sold a lot of these to clients over the years but having that v-neck here, having that real nipped in waist, that little pleat over the tummy and the wider leg has been a very, very useful purchase for a lot of my clients. And you know those days where you're just like struggling with what to wear? You've got that one outfit. Plus if we add in that sheer, the sheer tops that we were talking about downstairs, you've then got something that feels interesting. But yeah, these have been really successful for me over the years. I've sold a lot of them. Nice bags, they've always got lovely leather bags and I love the simplicity. This is an interesting colorway. You don't see a lot of this. This would look lovely on a kind of darker skin tone. I love the little pop of yellow in the stripe as well. But that would look really sexy with a kind of, I'm almost imagining like a black boot cut. Something that's quite extreme or even, yeah, a leather trouser. But that is quite an unusual colour combo to see. Yeah, we've talked, we've talked about the barrel. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, so these are kind of, these have got that great option for you. If you want a more masculine, maybe more utility trouser, but whenever you put them on, you're feeling a bit kind of, <laughs> you want to bring in something that's got a bit of curve to it, a bit of shape to it. So that lovely tapered uh, shape on the bottom, even just the fact they put in the pocket detailing here just gives you some curve at the waist. So they are great. They are the, Oh yeah, and dressing them up and making them sexy. Lovely, love that, thank you. Great suggestion. So I think, oh, these are a great color. Nice, real kind of tobacco brown there. Nice alternative to black, and if you wear a lot of black, a great thing to add. I love black and brown together. Really beautiful. Nice colors together. So I think overall, whistles, I'm excited, very excited. I'm not gonna lie, I've been into the stores the last few years and felt a little bit 
Mm, same old, same old. Whereas I feel like I've walked in today and seen some stuff that's a bit more unusual. It's pushing that boundary of style and expression and make, helping me to be a bit bolder in who I am. So hopefully it's inspired you. As always, let me know which brand you want me to see next. If you feel like you need my help with your style and to feel more confidence in who you are and how to express yourself and have a wardrobe that really functions for your everyday life, then get in touch. Look forward to hearing from you.